Okay, in this video I'm going to show how to hook up a IBM power server um, to a like a laptop through a uh, serial cable. So the things you're going to need, you're going to need the, um, the IBM server, power server. This is a Power 5. You're going to need a laptop. And you're going to need a null modem serial cable. It's important that you get one that is a null modem cable. You can see this one actually says on here no modem and then since most laptops don't have a uh, serial port you're also going to need um, a uh, USB to serial port adapter and I really like these um, TrendNet adapters they seem to work really well alright so once you once you have that what you're going to do is plug in one um, one side of the uh, cable into your adapter okay and then we're going to plug the USB port here into the uh, laptop okay and then we're going to take the other end of the cable and we're going to plug that into the T1 connector on the back of the server. Alright. Okay, next what we're going to do um, is pull up device manager. And what you want to do is find, so this is device manager. I'm going to find where it says ports. Hit the little uh, arrow over there. And you're looking for your USB to serial adapter. So in my case it says prolific USB to serial COM port and it says COM9. So this is what we need to find out. We need to find out what COM it is. In my, on my laptop it's COM9. Might be different on different computers and different adapters. So I have COM9. Then I'm going to pull up PuTTY. Okay. I'm going to choose a serial connection. I'm going to change this to COM9 since that's what I saw in Device Manager. And then for the speed, I'm going to change it to 19,200. Okay, so again, so I have it set to serial. COM9, because that's what I, I saw in Device Manager. And the speed, 19,200. And then I'm going to click Open. Okay. So nothing's going to come up here until I press Enter. And then I'll be at the login screen. The default um, account and password is admin, and the password is admin by default. That you know, and that's changeable. So, and there's a, a process you can use to reset that if you don't know what it is. But if, but try admin admin because that's what it is by default. All right, and then it's going to ask me for the number of columns and lines. I'm just going to press enter for the default. <clears throat> okay, so now we're logged into the ASMI menu, and if this is a server that you just got and you're trying to get it set up and it was previously connected to an HMC and now you don't have an HMC and you're just trying to start over with a server what you might need to do is go into um, system service age number two and then go to um, this factory configuration number 11 and then say reset all settings um, that'll take about 15 or 20 minutes to do and it'll reset everything on there. So again, just do that if you, you know, if you're trying to set this up when it was previously connected to an HMC and now it's not. And that seems to get things set so that you can use it without an HMC. Alright. <clears throat> so, and like I said, that'll take about 15 or 20 minutes. So I'm going to go back to the main menu. Um, and what I'm going to do is power on the server. I'm going to go to number one, power on. And then I'm going to go to number one, power on off system. And then I'm going to go to number eight, power on. And it says the system is powering on. Press enter to continue. And now I just need to wait here for a couple minutes. And what you'll notice is over here on the front panel, it will start um, scrolling through some boot codes.
and we just need to be patient. It's going to take about probably about five or ten minutes for the uh, server to boot up. Okay, and you can see here we started seeing some uh, boot code scroll on. Fans is kicked on on the server. Okay, we're still we're seeing a bunch of uh, boot code scroll along here. And at this point, we just need to wait a couple minutes. What's going to happen here here in a little bit? Um, we're going to be able to um, go into the SMS menu. And from within the SMS menu, we can set it up to boot from a CD or boot from uh, a hard drive if you already have the Addicts installed. So we'll just give it a couple minutes here to boot up. And what I've seen before, if if it gets to a boot code where it says uh, CA00E1DC and it just hangs there, that's the boot code where um, it's trying to select a console. And I've seen it do that if you've had it previously previously set up with an HMC and now it's not. And that's where if you go in and re do the factory uh, the factory reset the factory config reset all, it seems to. Um, to fix that up so it'll boot up and you can pull up the console on it. So we're just going to give it another minute here and it should be booted up. Still scrolling across boot codes. And if it hangs at any of these boot codes, you can you can Google it and see what the code means and, and try to figure out why it hung there. Okay, so at this point, we want to press 1 on the keyboard several times. Okay, so now I, I, I got into um, <clears throat> I got into the SMS menu, and I'm going to say uh, number 2, continue to password entry. It's going to prompt me for the, um, the admin ASMI account, like I said, um, by default, this is admin. Okay, so now I'm in the ASMI, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm in the SMS menu. And so I'm gonna go to number, if I wanna boot off the CD, I'm gonna go to number five, select boot options. Number one, select install boot device. Um, and I'm gonna say number three, CD, DVD. And in my case, um, on this server, it's an IDE. CD, so I'm going to choose number four, and then I'm going to choose number one for the IDE CD-ROM. Then I'm going to choose number two, normal boot mode, and I'm going to choose number one, exit. And at this point, it will boot off of the uh, the CD-ROM drive. And you can boot into AIX or or into Diag if you have a Diag CD. So let me know if you have any questions.